Well, welcome back to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway and our Business at the Brickyard special. You know, this place uh, answers to a number of names. The Brickyard, the world's greatest race course, the racing capital of the world. You could also call it incubator of automotive innovation. Since that first race in 1911, technology and innovation really have been hallmarks of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Numerous breakthroughs here have translated into our daily driving experience. The rear view mirror, seat belts, tire technology, front wheel drive, just to name a few of the advancements with links to IMS. And the innovation is not slowing down. In fact, there are indications it is accelerating. Speedway President Doug Bowles rejoins me now with more on that. And Doug, first of all, from a technology standpoint, the car is going to be lighter this year. The car is going to be lighter that runs the Indianapolis 500 because yeah. of the hybrid engine or the hybrid unit that's going to be in the Indy car starting later this summer. There's some components that were light, and so we'll be about 30 pounds lighter in May, which means the speed should be up. That's good. Uh, technology innovation, as mentioned a moment ago, uh, part of the DNA yeah. here at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, really from the very beginning. Uh, talk about the importance of innovation and that part. That's really part of the IMS brand. It is. You know, Carl Fisher and his partners built this place to test the new technology of the day back in 1909, and that was the automobile. So the fact that we continue to test it, whether it's through mobile devices or some of our cellular partners that are really helping us, or through the Indy Autonomous Challenge, this place is still be, being used to test new technology. You mentioned the Indy Autonomous Challenge, and that is really forward-looking technology uh, that you're looking at now. They're going to be back at the Indianapolis Sport Motor Speedway again. Talk about this. Driverless cars <laughs> is crazy, but it's reality. It is. And as the promoter of the Indianapolis 500, I love the fact that there are drivers in our cars. So I think we're a long way from having an Indy 500 this way. But right. what's going on through the state of Indiana, through the Indy Autonomous Challenge, is we're really trying to showcase what we do here in Indiana. Technology is so important to our economy. And we are a leader, not just in the U.S., but globally, in using the Indy Autonomous Challenge race cars powered by normal racing engines, but the brains of it are computers that university students and high school students do. They come out here and compete, and it really brings the best and brightest engineers here to Indiana and also showcases what we can do in Indiana as a technology state. Talk a little bit about the event itself, because you mentioned it brings the best and brightest teams, individuals from, from all over right. here to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. It's got a, you talk about an incubator of innovation. That, that really hits, hits it on the it, mark. It really is, and we had an event here you know, shortly after Roger bought this Speedway, and this is sort of the next round of the Indy Autonomous Challenge and having it here. But it's universities from all over the world that show up here and they go out on track and these cars go out and compete against each other. And the cars have to tell each, they have to be able to predict what another car is going to do. It's really fascinating stuff. Purdue University has a team in it. It's just really a fascinating way to use this facility but also to really talk about these are the, the brains in terms of students of the next generation and we want them to come and locate here in Indiana. You talked about this a moment ago, but uh, technology, uh, talent attraction and retention in the state of Indiana, trying to get those best and brightest uh, here. We look at the evolving Indiana economy in terms of electric vehicles and semiconductors, uh, microelectronics. This, what we're talking about here, fits right in with it. It's kind of a, 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 a connector for that. It is 100% a connector for that, and, and that's really one of the things we've really tried to do here at the Speedway. We're a racetrack, but when we make decisions on events to, to host here, it's not just how many people can we get in the grandstands, but how is that event helping the greater economy of the state of Indiana, and the Indy Autonomous Challenge certainly does that. Doug Bowles, president of the Indianapolis Motor Speedway, thanks for joining us. I uh, look forward to seeing you much more this month. Absolutely. All right, and thank you for joining us on this edition of Inside. Indiana Business, a special Business at the Brickyard edition will be here the entire month of May. That's it for this week. We'll leave you with some images from the world's greatest race course. I'm Gary Dick. Go out and make it a successful week.